Hey y'all, uh, welcome to 2024. I finally got my uh, Blue Yeti working again, this microphone, so hopefully the audio quality is even better this year. So I'm going to jump back into Unity. And I had a question on just the basics of how to create one of the particle effects inside of the snow globe, that being snow. So if you're a technical artist, you're new to game development, you're new in Unity, stick around, check out this particle system. I'm going to show you the basics and we're going to get you up and running with your own snow in Unity. Stay tuned. All right, so here we are. Uh, this is the snow globe scene. Uh, some of y'all probably recall this from the end of last year. I'm going to start fresh by turning off our snow particle effect and recreating it from scratch. So we can get into any other part of the snow globe in the future. For now, we're gonna focus just on the snow particle effect. So create visual effects. Uh, again, to get into the create menu, I just hit right click. So we're then in visual effects, visual effect graph. I'm gonna name this snow tutorial. Now that that has been created, I have another particle effect up here inside of what I'm looking at. So let's go to close tab just so that we're all looking at the same thing. We only have scene and game as our two tabs. And then I'm going to double click on snow tutorial. And it's now uh, opened up this VFX graph for me as its own window. So I'm going to pull that off to the side and we are good to go. So this is our VFX graph for the snow tutorial. Nothing's happening in scene because the particle effect is not in scene yet. So let me drag snow tutorial into my hierarchy. Okay, so it is now there. I can drag it up and over so that we see it's just a basic particle system. Uh, you can immediately see this kind of uh, placeholder XY 2D sprite placeholder texture that's being emitted in a placeholder way with certain uh, settings. So let's come through here and look at what each of these are, and then we'll get into customizing it. So we have our spawn rate uh, right now is 16, meaning that's how many sprites are spawned per X amount of time. I'm just going to assume that that, that is per second or per frame, one of the two. Capacity is the amount of sprites that you can see at one time. Velocity is what are you going to set the velocity of these sprites at, at runtime. So if I set all of this to zero, they would be going nowhere because there'd be no velocity impacting them. Then we have set lifetime random. So between two variables, you can set the lifetime so that it's not all one uniform number and it's instead it chooses between the two. Then we have a ton that we can do an update particle that for the sake of this introductory tutorial, I'm going to skip over for now, but we can add in things like turbulence if we want wild, windy snow, things like that. And then lastly, we have the output particle quad which this is where we're seeing this default particle main texture coming through. It also tells you how you want to orient the 2D textures. So right now they're always facing the camera. If I wanted to have them fixed to an axis, you can see what happens is that now I can start to see the sides of them, which is not ideal. So I'm just gonna say face camera plane for right now. We'll leave it there. We can then set the size over life, which Usually for things like smoke, you want it to grow larger and dissipate. For things like fire, you may want it to get a bit smaller as it kind of burns up in the air. With snow, it's likely going to be one size throughout its life. So um, maybe what I could do is go a little bit uh, smaller than larger than smaller, but I think instead I'm going to handle that with opacity. So... First thing I'm going to do is just kind of lock this off to one to one, uh, nothing too crazy. And then I'm going to go ahead and put in a particle that looks a bit more like snow. So if I want to, I can right click inside of VFX graph, create, and then I'm going to create a node and then I want it to be a 2D texture. 
that I'm going to plug into the main texture. And then I might want this to be like the default sprite. Uh, let's see if I can find it. Default particle is what it's called. So I'm gonna set it to default particle and you can already see it's looking a bit more like snow. Uh, it's a little bit too large. By a little bit, I mean a lot of bit. So let me drag these down until they're relatively teeny tiny. Pretty happy with that. Um, I'll leave color over life where it's at, but just so you're aware of what this is, when you click on the color down here, it pops this open and you can essentially control opacity and color from this window. So this is going alpha zero to alpha 255. So if we wanted the fade in to be more gradual, I can pull it more like this um, so that it starts out more transparent and then gets fully opaque. And then at the very end of its life goes back to transparent. Maybe we'll just do that. So all I've done is move over the alpha. I'll leave it all as white. And something else that we want for snow is we want to increase the capacity. So let's just say it's a thousand. And let's say that the life lasts a lot longer. Um, so let's call it 50 to 55, something like that. And now they'll just persist a lot further out. So that's looking better, but it is going in the wrong direction. So now I want to come into the velocity and I'm gonna set this to negative 0.2 and negative one could be interesting, but that's certainly too fast. It almost looks like a, the tip of a leaky faucet or something. So I'm gonna do negative I actually a negative two, but let's go to negative 0.3 instead. And that's looking a bit more snow-like to me. And then let's say I want to go to negative 0 0.1, 0 0.1, and negative 0 0.1, 2.1, uh, just to bring in the amount that it's moving outward. Uh, last thing that I believe I want to do is come in here and create a block for a shape because I don't want it emitting from a single point. I want it emitting from a shape. So we're gonna go into a box that we can see here. Um, you can see immediately that it's a bit wider in where it is emitting from. So if I go out in my directions, which I know X is running left and right of the camera and Z is now running left and right of the camera as I move my camera this way. So I can change my X and Z a bit wider. I don't want to increase my Y or it's going to increase the height of the uh, box that we're using to generate the particles from. And there's no real reason to do that if we're trying to get snow. So that's starting to look pretty good. I believe for the sake of this uh, eventual snow globe, I ended up doing something a bit closer to 15 by 15. So I'm gonna click on this cube to go into isometric view and then click on the Y to go up above and I'm gonna place this relatively exactly centered. And now I can click on the cube again to go back into perspective. And that is looking pretty good. Okay, so at this point, maybe I want to add in a tiny bit of turbulence. I know I said we weren't gonna do it, but just to uh, be interesting. So now you can see it's far too turbulent. It's pushing in directions I don't want it to go. I need it all relatively moving down. But that is a pretty cool look. It's not dissimilar from what I would see in uh, in real snow. So I'm gonna take this to point one. And now let's see. 
it looks like the turbulence, because it's happening in update particle, which happens after the initialization of particle, is happening and then having a lasting impact on what is occurring. So if I come in here and I do velocity, I'm going to add a velocity now that is going to be negative 0.1. see what that looks like way 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 too much so let's do something a bit more like that so now we've added in a tiny bit of turbulence but we've kept it all moving downward um, so this is just one way that you can play with it but get in here and try all of this out just keep in mind that your initialization of particle happens first where you set up all of your values, then your update particle happens almost more so in an update loop, hence the name. Um, so this is happening to it as it's moving. And then your output particle quad is how is it rendering? So what's the, the image or the texture that you're seeing? How does it Im, uh, interact with the camera? Things like that. So I'm pretty happy with that for right now. We'll probably leave that where it's at. If you have questions, let me know. Uh, we can get in here and add in all manner of customization, but that should get you up and running with your own snow in your own level. Thanks, y'all, and have a great 2024.